Tonight I thought I'd bring you guys a little uh, video. Didn't do anything last night. Um, this one's a little more personal. This was my favorite restaurant, Tustin. It went out of business about two months ago thanks to the coronavirus. Um, you guys might be familiar with Arby's. There's not many of them in Orange County. I think there's one in Lake Forest. I know there's one somewhere in Irvine. I think Jamboree and Barranca. But this was my hometown. This is Tustin. This is right here on El Camino and um, Newport Boulevard. And uh, before it was an Arby's, it was a Rally Burger back in the 2000s. It um, was a Rally Burger, and I remember that. I remember fondly coming here with my mother and father and my brothers and We'd have 30 cent burgers, or maybe they were 50 cent on Sunday. McDonald's did that too back in the late 90s, 2000s. They uh, had some incredible deals, but that Rally Burger was demolished. They had two drive throughs like this one, but one on the other side, as all Rally Burgers do. This is a Arby's that was built from the ground up, brand new building, was here for about two or three years, was doing great business. Corona happened, the coronavirus devastated this business. I know for a fact it did. And now you see what's left. And it hits me personally. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not one of those people who's had like 20 or 30 members of their family die because of coronavirus. I mean, I guess we're just following the rules, wearing our mask and staying 200 miles apart from each other or whatever. But the point I'm trying to make is that these are real examples that I've been showing you the last couple of days of businesses failing because of extraordinary measures against this virus that, you know... Most people aren't gonna die from it. If you've had someone die from it, I apologize. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but the majority of people under like 50 or 60 years old aren't dying from this virus. The mainstream media neglects to mention that you have to be obese. You have to have asthma or lung problems for this really to be a serious concern. Um, it's basically another form of influenza. It does attack your lungs, making it hard to breathe. Some people have died on the ventilator, but honestly, this is probably because they have asthma or something like that in their family. Now, if you look at the rest of this plaza, again, you see a dentist. Wow, that sushi place is just, okay. I mean, there's a sushi place there, but it's dead. Usually, I've come here a couple of weeks ago or two months ago, whenever it was, I haven't been to Arby's in a while, but you know, I had other things to do, I had family to take care of across the county and things like that. But my point is, is that place is dead. That's one of the most happening sushi spots in all of Tustin, that place is dead. It's like nine o'clock right now. That There's nothing going on there. That's ridiculous. Wow, maybe I should be doing the video on that place. Um, but my point still stands that every strip mall I go to is not a happening place. You see the effects of Corona. You see what it's doing. You see Gavin Newsom's um, curfew now where the other night, thousands of uh, Trump supporters, real patriots went out in their car and they uh, circled around his mansion to let them know, hey, we're not interested in your little curfew because that's the thing. We don't need a curfew. 